It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up. Live from the greatest city in the world, this is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning and a happy new year to you. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with Chief Investment Officer, the man with the plan, happens to be my father as well. Good morning, Dad. Big Bob Payne. What's shaking? Well, Ry, I um, I made a lot of money in Bitcoin, and uh, <laughs> but unfortunately, I put all your money into the Mega Millions uh, lottery, and you didn't win. Speaking of gambling, Sorry. Bob, uh, what do you think of Bitcoin here? Is this the the future of uh, transactions, or is this the greatest bubble of all time in your uh, experience dealing with, I guess, you know, investing for so many years? Well, after forty two years, Ry, I invest in things I understand, and here's <laughs> the thing with Bitcoin: it's the same thing as gold. You can't carry it around; doesn't pay a dividend, and you can't eat it. So I'm not absolutely sure what it, why you want to have it other than it's going up. And that's the only reason that you call me and ask me about Bitcoin is it must be good. It's going up. That's a bad reason to invest. Yeah, it definitely feels like another bubble. And I know you and I have seen a lot of bubbles over the years. And you know, it, to me, it's like, well, if I'm going to gamble, I actually prefer <laughs> the casinos, Bob, because at least they give me free drinks. There you <laughs> there's go. No, there's no <laughs> free drinks with Bitcoin. <laughs> Actually, a crazy statistic about uh, the casinos. For every dollar that enters a casino, guess how much leaves on average? Uh, most. Most, 78 cents. Wow. <laughs> so you may want to Jeez. reconsider your, your gambling uh, you know, opportunities in 2018 as well, along with Bitcoin. But anyway. Well, I always told you, Rye, that there's a reason why those casinos have so much marble on the wall. <laughs> Somebody's yeah, not now, winning. Now you know. Now you know. That's... Uh, <laughs> That's a good chance you're going to lose uh, at least, uh, what is that, about 25% of your money every time you go. So not, not a great a deal. deal. Not a good deal. Well, <laughs> well, we've got a great show for you this morning to get you on the right path to financial freedom in 2018. We're going to talk about common concerns that you have right now. We work with over a thousand families and there's a lot of the same issues, concerns that we find that we have universally. Bob, we're going to talk about some of these concerns you have going into 2018 and how to address them. We're going to talk about common mistakes that you make with your portfolio. There's a lot of mistakes we want you to avoid in 2018. Let's start 2018 on the right footing. We're going to tell you how to do that and avoid some of the more common mistakes out there. And we're going to talk about financial pornography. Yes, there's a lot of stuff out there in the news. We want you to avoid the financial media. Let's start the year off right again. We want to avoid that financial pornography this year. Along with our spotlight segment, we have our star financial advisor, Frankie Lagrateria, on this morning. She's going to discuss a case and some of the mistakes this couple is making with their financial planning so you can avoid those same mistakes. So let's hop right to it. Let's talk about some of the big concerns Bob, that we've seen going into 2018. And with your client base and all the clients we have collectively, you know, what are some of the more common concerns that we're seeing right now? You know, the one, number one concern I keep hearing is you think there's going to be a nuclear attack from North Korea or a huge terrorist attack from places like ISIS. Yes. And it seems like that stuff is heating up right now. Every day in the news, we're hearing something new about North Korea. Um, and you know, from a portfolio standpoint, yeah, how do you defend against something like that? Because it's a real threat. And if you get some sort of geopolitical issue, we don't want to see our portfolio just evaporate. Well, you got to think about it. First of all, the odds of something like that happening are very low. But of course, that's called an unexpected event or a black right. swan event. So there's really no way to prepare for it in terms of you know knowing when it's going to happen or anybody having some notification or but, crystal ball. <clears throat> yeah, or a crystal ball. People don't have crystal balls. So the other thing that you, have, that you need to think about is what if it doesn't happen, right? I mean, you know, a lot of people pick a certain point in the market where well, I'm going to get out now because it went up last year. And then when that happens, I'll be able to take advantage of the dip. Well, it doesn't mean it's going to happen. So we call that an event-driven investment process, right? What we follow right. is a process-driven strategy because that way you have an all-purpose portfolio. See, 
We've yeah. been through this before. We've seen unexpected events. And guess what happens to the stock market when unexpected events hit? Well, you can get unexpected corrections in the market, but because they're unexpected, you can't know ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, but you get a big drop in the market, but you also get a big boost in the bond market. So you get a flight to safety, right? So even though that guy in North Korea has a button on his desk, a nuclear button, he tells us, you know, the what happens when there's panic in the street, people hit the sell button. Well, for smart investors, people who are event driven, you know, they're going to panic. People that are process driven are going to have an opportunity to sell the part of their portfolio that goes up dramatically like their bonds and buy on sale. You know, buying well, on that's, sale that's, has always been the way to go, right? Yeah, it's a good point, man. We were talking about this earlier, Bob, but when 9-11 hit, unexpectedly, the market went down. But the reality of it is, if you had bonds like you were just mentioning in your portfolio, things that protect you already in your portfolio, that's the key. You have to be prepared ahead of time for anything that can happen. And that's really what a process-driven portfolio is about. Because the bottom line is, whenever you get a big sell from the market like that, like 9-11, eventually the market recovers. And if you can buy into those dips, that's where you need to have other what we call asset classes in your portfolio to take advantage of that. So it's really about being prepared ahead of time all the time, Bob, as opposed to waiting for that one unexpected event to happen. Yeah, but see, if you have that fear of an unexpected event, the other fear that I'm hearing almost on a weekly basis, Federal Reserve's raised interest rates. Bond market's got to go down. Why would I want to own any bonds in my portfolio if interest rates are going up? Yeah, we've only been hearing this now for like, of the least the last five years. Every year, it's interest rates are going up, bond prices are going down, get out of the bond market. I, I hear it probably at the beginning of every single year at this point. But I mean, the reality of it is, what if it doesn't happen, right? Well, you have to understand, the Federal Reserve does not control the bond market. It only controls the overnight rate of interest that banks charge between themselves. The real determinant of long-term performance in the bond market has to do with inflation. And inflation has been nowhere to be seen for the last couple of years. Yeah. I mean, contrary to popular belief, you know, there has been very little inflation. And the outlook, Bob, is the same thing. Inflation doesn't look like it's going to pick up in a big way, which means you're probably not going to get this huge spike up in interest rates that everybody's talking about, which means that you probably want to have bonds in your portfolio for safety. And we'll talk a little bit about this later on the show. There's different ways you want to own your bonds, but it doesn't mean you want to be out of the bond market 100%. So the, the key here is, especially going into 2018, yes, there's definitely geopolitical risk out there. You know, Interest rates could rise, and maybe they will, maybe they won't, but it's all about, to your point, Bob, let's have a process-driven portfolio, not an event-driven portfolio. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need to get my portfolio process-driven. I need a plan in 2018. Here's your shot to do it. We have 10 slots. If you're one of the next 10 callers, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan here at the beginning of the year, and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's a full financial review that looks at everything. We're going to take all of your information, get all those statements, wherever they're held. We're going to load everything into a personalized portal so we can analyze everything on a holistic view for you. We're going to look at every component of your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? We're going to break down all the cost in your portfolio, including that hidden cost that you have in annuities, mutual funds. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical for retirement. How much income does your portfolio produce? Can we increase or optimize the income on your portfolio? Bob, I'm going to show you how to do that. How diversified are you? Do you have bonds in your portfolio? Are you properly protected if we have some unforeseen event? Bob and I are going to show you where all the holes or pitfalls are on your portfolio to get you properly diversified for a process-driven strategy. Then finally, we're going to look at everything holistically and determine, is your money going to outlive you or are you going to outlive your money utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And all you have to do is call 844-PLAN-NYC. Text or call 844-752-6692. So if you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved over 200,000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own 360 financial portal. Now there's no obligation and there's no cost. Just call us at 844-PLAN-NYC or text 844-752-6692. This is Bob, this is Rye. We are the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio.
From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. They really separate themselves from the large brokerages in how important their personal relationship is with you, the client. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. You'll have the freedom to select top investment strategies, not just one particular product. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Pain Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call today for a complimentary review. 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain market update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer of Payne Capital Management. And this week, the East Coast was hit with a massive storm. The weather folks are now calling a bomb cyclone. However, heavy winds and snow weren't enough to slow down the action on the street of dreams as the major market indices stormed higher, crossing major milestones for the first time in history. The Dow closed over 25,000. The S&P is over 2,700. And the NASDAQ, believe it or not, is now above 7,000. Now, the international markets followed suit, all closing at 52-week highs for the week. And this comes on the heels of the great news on the December global manufacturing PMI, hitting a 34-month high at a reading of 54.5. Now, this is the highest reading since November of 2011. And just remember, whenever you see that number, anything above 50 is positive. Anything below, then we got to start to worry. With the strong start to the year, the bulls appear to have history on their side, considering that the year following the 32 other 20% total return years in the S&P since 1928 saw an average gain of 10% the following year, with only one year closing down. Now, remember, the old saying on Wall Street is how the first week of January goes so goes the year. And since 1945, there have been 27 years where the S&P achieved gains in January and February with an average rise of 24%. Now that indicator is batting 1,000. It's 27 for 27. So let's hope this rally continues. Now as positive as these historic market barometers readings are, keep in mind, markets don't move in a straight line. Don't be surprised if we see a little more volatility than we did last year with maybe one or more 10 or 15% corrections. Trying to time these corrections always results in failure in tears. Bull market declines come and go fast. You don't want to miss the gains that follow in a big, booming bull market. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, am I taking too much risk in my portfolio or not enough? Why sit there and wonder when you can have your own customized stress test of your personal portfolio? All you have to do is call 844-PLAN-NYC. You can text or call 844-752-6692. We told you earlier that Bob Payne is Managing Director of Payne Capital Management. This means he oversees all the portfolio designs and financial planning strategies for the firm. For 40 years, he's worked to change the way the financial industry approaches financial planning. He turned away from the traditional Wall Street sales pitch and pioneered a new approach to retirement planning using goal-oriented, customizable plans that better fit your individual needs. Reach out to Bob and the team for a complimentary review by calling 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. Time for some New York City trivia. Did you know in the winter of 1780, it was so cold that the New York Harbor froze over? You could have walked from Manhattan to Staten Island on the ice. Let's hope it doesn't get that cold ever again. Although, if you had some sled dogs, it could do wonders for the commute. Anyway, keep listening to No Pain, No Gain. Mush! It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne. No Pain, No Gain financial radio and 
Bob and I want to make sure, as always, you're the most informed to make the best decisions about your financial planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest guide to give you all the highlights of the new tax reform. We've broken it out for you. Our accountant did a great job just giving you the bullet points, what you need to know about the new tax reform. Go ahead. You can download our guide for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555 888-888. 888. Get a great start to the year. Find out everything you need to know about the new tax bill. We put everything you need to know, simple highlights of the new tax laws. Go ahead and text the word bullish to 555-888. You can get our latest guide on the new tax reform at no cost. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. And in this segment, what we'd like to talk about are the mistakes you've been making on your portfolio. We see a lot of common mistakes with the 50 or so portfolios Bob and I review a month. Bob, the one that I think about right now more than anything is there's lack of diversity in your portfolio. Why aren't we more diversified in our portfolios and why is it so critical? Well, it's a bull market, son. When you have a a stock market that uh, went up every single month in 2017, people tend to become a little more bullish. Also, we talked earlier about these fears that you have, that interest rates are going to go up and so bonds are just going to go down, so why bother? So a lot of people are are avoiding the bond market and overloading the equity or stock market, which is can feel good short term, but could be a big mistake long term. Let me ask you a question, Ryan. If you're going to make money, what would you choose? Would you choose a stock? Would you choose a bond if you want to make money? Well, the stock market over time, historically, even though more volatile, makes more money over time than owning bonds, which are more conservative investments. So what's the number one reason you buy a bond? Safety. You have to own bonds for safety and protection in your portfolio. Better than an annuity, but that's another story altogether. Yeah. So if you want to return on your portfolio, you want to have a good exposure to equities, and that makes sense. But if you want to have an investment where you're not so concerned about the return on your money, but your paramount concern is return of your money, that's when you want to have a bond. Plus, when you have a black swan event and stocks go down and there's a buying opportunity, if you don't have a diversified portfolio, where are you going to get the money to buy? Yeah, that's a good point because when the market goes down, it's your best time to buy. But if all your money is already in the market, you're out of luck because you just saw all your money go down at the same time. And I think that's kind of where we are right now, right? It's either I have too much money sitting in cash because 2008 was a horrible correction and I've never been able to get fully invested again, which that's, that's a very fair fear to have except for cash pay zero. But on the other hand, you may have way too much money in stocks right now and they've done really, really well. But in the back of your mind, you're thinking, when's that correction coming? And I think the bigger issue, Bob, is not only if we have too much money in the market, it's all concentrated in the same place, large cap US stocks. And you and I know from history, that's not proper diversification. Like if we look at last year, for instance, the foreign markets did much better than US markets and that could continue. So you know, you know, well, you need to make sure that you have money everywhere. Well, it did continue this week. And uh, of course, we can't tell you what's going to happen in the next 12 minutes, let alone the next 12 months, but it's always better to buy something more undervalued than then has a higher valuation. But you know what, right? When it comes to safety, Wall Street did something very evil. What did they do? What's, I mean, Wall Street's done a lot of evil things. Let's let's be honest. Well, they took a simple fixed income investment and they wrapped it in, a, in something called a mutual fund or an ETF or an ETN. And people think they own a safe portfolio of fixed income investments. But what they actually end up with is something that's heads you lose, tails you lose investment. So Bob, what you're saying is, I know you're going with this, bond funds are bad. If you're going to own bonds <laughs> in your portfolio and you need safety... Owning a bond fund is not the way to go, and there's a good chance that you do own bond funds in your portfolio. Yeah, not only are they bad, they're evil because they make people think, they give people a false sense of security. The only way to have a fixed income investment, which is the only true hedge that you can have in a portfolio, is to have a fixed coupon with a fixed maturity date when you know exactly when you're going to get your money back 
and you're going to be able to try all over again. Yeah, I mean, your risk there is very nominal when you own your bonds outright, and that's you know one of the reasons why we don't like annuities is because with an annuity, a lot of times, if you bought into one of these or they give you these guarantees of 7%, which aren't a real 7%, by the way, is when you start drawing on an annuity, you give up your principal. And one of the w- things you don't want to do when you're getting into retirement is give up liquidity. And that's where if you own a bond portfolio, to your point, Bob, every bond pays interest, you collect that interest, and in the future, all your money comes back to you where you don't lose your principal like you would in some sort of insurance product. It really is probably one of the best ways to create safety in your portfolio. Hey, Ryan, I've got a question for you. Ask Bob. Whenever you talk to a new client on a scale of one to 10, how organized are they financially? What do they typically say? I have to say, going to the new year here and with all the people we talk to, if we're to be honest with ourselves, we're probably like a four. We probably kind of know where everything is, but we're not as organized as we'd like to be. Sure. They're not as organized. They might have bond funds in their portfolio. They may not be diversified. They may not have a will. And when you ask them, well, wouldn't it be great to be financially organized on a scale of one to 10? Where would you like to be for yourself and your family? I would say, Bob, especially going to New Year here because it's kind of a fresh start, let's get to a 10. I want to be a 10 with all my finances, know where everything is, have a plan in place, have everything analyzed, be prepared for the year. See, this is what I'd like to offer. If you'd like to rank a 10 in your financial life, if you'd like to have all of your financial documents and data organized and simplified, all you have to do is be one of our next 10 callers. If you've saved over $200,000 for retirement, My son, Rye, and I will create for you your own customized 360 financial portal. You know what this means? This means no more passwords. You only have to remember one. No more security questions for every bank account, every brokerage account, every insurance policy, every annuity, every credit card, even your mortgage. Virtually everything that you currently have a statement and online access, you can simplify and organize into one 360 financial portal. Wouldn't it be amazing to be financially organized? Well, we're going to tie it all together for you in our 360 financial portal. All you have to do is give us a call. You'll have your wealth projections. Your goals will be updated on a daily basis, not just today, but for the rest of your life. And we'll answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family has perfected now for over four decades? You see, we want to help take your family from your financial point A to your point B, your goals your dreams with your values with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary can provide. So don't waste time. Start the year off right. Get a full financial review at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Be one of the next 10 callers with over $200,000 saved for retirement at no cost. We'll run the review at 844 plan NYC, that's call or text 844-752-6692. Get financially organized in 2018. Give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. At Payne Capital Management, we understand how crucial Social Security is to your retirement. However, Social Security is confusing, and there are many ways to claim your benefits. That's why we've developed 10 strategies for maximizing your Social Security benefits. If you text the word BULLISH to 555-888, we'll send you a link to download your free copy. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888 and you'll receive a link to register. The social security system is complex. Make sure you're making the most of your benefits. Get started today by texting the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. Text the word BULLISH to 555-888. It's time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. Bob, 
What disgusting, financially uh, bad advice did you find this week in the world of financial pornography? You know, Rye, over the last year, we've had a trillion dollars exit old school mutual funds and go into index funds. But now even academia, which has been supportive of index funds, are now calling them evil and say that they're going to ultimately strangle the economy. Wow. I mean, that's they're pretty bold words for a, for the most part, lower cost, better trading vehicle than a mutual fund. Why would they think that these exchange traded funds are so evil, Bob? Somehow they think that the effects of index funds is that makes companies anti-competitive, that they'll decide to collude rather than compete. Now, how they come up with that conclusion is beyond me. But at the same time, I pick up the New York Times last week, and there's an article about the mutual fund industry, one of the biggest billionaires who's made tons of money overcharging his clients in mutual funds, a fellow named Barron, Ronald Barron, who has a big Barron conference in New York every year that he pays for out of his own pocket. But um, he's bragging about the fact that his fees are high, even though he's underperformed his underlying index for the last five years. So basically, the dirty little secret here is, and we talk about this a lot, and if you have mutual funds in your portfolio, is the fees are typically higher. You would think, okay, I'm paying a higher fee, then my performance should be better for the fee I'm paying. But if you look at the statistics, like this Ron Barron, who's a huge fund manager here in New York, his performance is not as good as owning the low cost index as an exchange traded fund. I mean, to me, that's the worst deal. I pay more for less performance. That sounds like a terrible deal to me, Bob. Well, he told you that he deserves it because he does an enormous amount of research. So in the last (laughs) five years, he's underperformed the Russell 2000 growth index by 2% a year. 2% a year, Rye. That's, I mean, if you think about compounding over time, that's a lot of money. And I think that's a good catalyst just to say, hey, you know, what does my portfolio look like this year? You know, Bob, you and I are big believers in exchange traded funds. Not only for the most part, are they more cost effective, but also they have tax advantages. You know, they don't have to pay out capital gains every year. So there's not unnecessary taxes that you typically pay in a mutual fund. So when you're reviewing your portfolio and you're looking at your strategy for 2018, this might be the perfect time to start to move out of some of these very high cost mutual funds into better low cost trading strategies. And the way we talk about it, Bob, is mutual funds are old school. Exchange traded funds are new school. You want to get with the new school. I found an article, Bob, right before the holidays. There was a mysterious volatility trader known as 50 Cent, not the rapper, but a volatility trader who lost $197 million in 2017 betting on a spike in what we call the VIX, which is essentially an investment vehicle that measures volatility. And as you and I know, if you look at this past year, 2017, there wasn't a lot of volatility in the market. And this trader made a huge bet, betting that volatility was going to be huge and lost $197 million, Bob. That's crazy. Wait a minute, whose money did he lose? In this case, it would be the bank's money because he's obviously trading this on behalf of an institution. So some Wait. bank just lost $197 million. Wait, it reminds me of the uh, hedge fund managers who overcharged their clients over the last 10 years. And this week, Warren Buffett won a million dollar bet against the hedge fund manager telling him that the S&P could outperform its expensive hedge funds. So he just took a million dollars and gave it to charity. Sounds like there's a lot of ordinary people out there, Rye, who think they can do extraordinary things. (laughs) That's like everybody on Wall Street, basically. (laughs) Yeah, I think that's just a reminder, too, when it comes to our portfolios. And and again, thinking about strategy moving ahead, you know, one one of the things you can't do is anticipate on your portfolio. This is something that we talk about at nauseum, but making any sort of big bet, you know, whether it's on U.S. stocks, whether it's on volatility. Like, who knows what volatility is going to be like in the next 12 months? And you know, you talked about this earlier in the show, Bob, but I think it's so critical now more than ever to have like an all-purpose or an all-weather portfolio. You know, Not anticipating anything, expecting anything can happen. And I think when you're doing your portfolio analysis, that's what you want to think about. Think about everything that could go wrong and how is my portfolio protected in any given scenario. I call it like bulletproofing your portfolio, basically. And that's, and that's a great term, right? I love that bulletproof your portfolio. But you have to realize that when you lower your cost of your portfolio, it increases the yield on your underlying investment. I mean, wouldn't it be better for those dividends and that interest to be going into your account, compounding for your family's goals, as opposed to some money manager 
who's making big bets, you know, trying to do extraordinary things like we said earlier. So it's really about a couple of things. It's diversification, not yep. just owning the S&P 500. I mean, it drives me crazy every year. They're making predictions about what the market's going to do, but they're only talking about 500 stocks. We never hear about the predictions about the other 10 to 12,000 stocks or companies that you can invest in. That's a mind it's all focused in the wrong area. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is. And I think that's a good point too, Bob, going back to mutual funds is because the fees are typically higher, they're not paying those dividends. And if you don't know what dividends are, that's like if you own a rental property, that's collecting those rental checks you know, every month, or in this case, every quarter. And that's a big part of your return. You have to know, if you don't know what income your portfolio is paying, you need to know that like yesterday, because income is going to be the major driver of your return long-term, especially if you're building a diversified portfolio. It's not going to be as the market going to go up or down this year. That's almost becomes irrelevant when you have a really solid income producing portfolio, Bob, which especially when it comes to retirement planning and building a retirement portfolio, like income is is king or queen as far as I'm concerned. Not just income, right? But what about all those taxable gains that you have to pay tax on where your principal, which could be compounding for you in a tax efficient portfolio, is now in the coffers of the IRS or the state of New York. Yeah. And that's not where I want my money to be. <laughs> and if you're thinking to yourself, I need to get my portfolio retirement ready. I need to be properly diversified. I don't want to make any big bets. I want to make sure that my portfolio is ready for retirement. If I'm getting ready for retirement in retirement, here's your shot to do it. Let's start 2018 off right. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. We'll give you the full holistic review. We're going to give you access to our 360 portal. We're going to load in all of your investments. We're going to take all those statements from all the different financial institutions where they're held. We're going to consolidate and give you a holistic view of everything and we'll do a full analysis for you. We're going to do a full portfolio x-ray. We're going to look at fees. Do you own a lot of mutual funds? Do you own a lot of insurance products like annuities where the fees are very high? Bob and I are going to show you how to reduce the cost on your portfolio. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical for retirement. Are you optimizing the income on your portfolio? Bob and I are going to show you how to increase all the income on your portfolio to get you to retirement ready. And we're going to look at diversification. Do you have too much money in cash? Do you have too much money concentrated in the same investments? What pitfalls do you have in your portfolio? Bob and I are going to point them out and show you how to properly diversify, properly bulletproof your portfolio. And then finally, we're going to tie it all together and we're going to determine... Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now we have literally worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? Don't miss out on this golden opportunity. Give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC or text us at 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement our team will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. There's no obligation and there's no cost, but you have to call 844-PLAN-NYC or simply text us at 844-752-6692. This is Bob. This is Rai. We are No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Time for some New York City trivia. Did you know pinball was once banned in the city? It was in place until 1978. Speaking of pinballs, if you're tired of watching your accounts bounce all over the place, you should keep listening to No Pain, No Gain. Ryan Payne, Bob Poon, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to make sure you are ready for 2018. We try to get you the most common sense, practical advice. Bob and I are common sense guys. And if you want to get our latest guide about tax reform, just the highlights, what you need to know about the new tax reform, you can get our newest guide if you simply text the word bullish. That's B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555 
888. You can download our free guide, get everything you need to know about the new tax reform, how you can benefit. You need to know the highlights. Simply text the word bullish, that's B U L L I S H, to 555 888. Again, the word bullish to 555 888 and get the highlights on the new tax reform. Simply text the word bullish to 555 888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, and yes, Bob's hair is real, but check it out for yourself. You can check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can subscribe to the show and you can find more about what we do at Payne Capital Management. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can email us questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I will answer your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, we'll answer it right here on the show. And like every week, Bob, we got some pretty good questions. First one that comes in is from Emily. She's in Paramus, New Jersey. She writes in, Bob, it appears that I'm now able to contribute more to my 401k this year than I was allowed to last year. Is it safe to assume I should go ahead and put in that extra money? Emily, that's an excellent idea. Everybody got a raise in terms of what they're able to contribute to their 401k or 403b, and it's now $18,500 a year, up from $18,000 last year. Now, if you're over 50, you have the opportunity to do what's called a catch-up contribution, and that's still at $6,000. So the max this year is $24,500. And as Ryan and I always say, investing is like eating. You should do it every day, and you should do it whenever you have money to invest. So the earlier you get that contribution in, the faster your money will be compounding, the more you can diversify, the more you can take advantage of whatever the market's offering at that time. Yeah, and since we're talking about diversification a lot today too, Bob, you know, a lot of times your net worth is probably in your 401k, and that's mm-hmm. why it's critical at least every 12 months, this is something we do with our clients, to review your allocation, start to trim back on your winners, and start to look to make sure that your money spread out over a lot of different asset classes. Because the problem is, if last year you're saying, I killed it in my 401k, well, that might be because all your money or all your eggs are in one basket. And it's always good, I'd say, especially the beginning of the year, to reevaluate what that diversification looks like. You know, Ryan, even if you, you don't think you can put the max away, you know what I find with a lot of folks that are over 60, they don't realize that they can withdraw money from their 401k without penalty. So it's like a tax deferred savings account. You can put the money in. If you find you have an emergency and you need to take it out, well, you don't have to pay a penalty. You just have to pay the income tax that you just had deferred a year or two earlier. So it's a great vehicle that I don't think you take advantage of as much as you can but I think that's what planning does. It points out to the opportunities that you may have missed in contributing to that 401k. Yeah, no, no, great point. Another question that comes in is from Miles in Greenwich, Connecticut. He, he writes in, Ryan, I've worked with a couple different financial advisors over the years, and I like them both. Do I need to just pick one or the other, or is it okay to work with a couple different people? Well, there's a couple problems when you have a lot of cooks in the kitchen is what we find, Bob, is you find you're going to have a lot of different plans. And this is why I love our 360 portal, because what we'll do is we'll load in all of your assets into one place and we can see what all these different advisors are doing. And what we find, Bob, is a lot of times maybe the funds have different names, but you end up owning a lot of the same things. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's not just owning the same things, but you know what I found with a lot of advisors they have certain prejudice towards the market. You know, for example, one of our clients we brought in years ago, the advisor hated bonds. So they had them 100% invested in the equity market. Unfortunately, it was 2008 and they lost over a million dollars because this advisor didn't believe in bonds because Warren Buffett doesn't own bonds. I mean, ridiculous ideas. So what happens is you have a lot of stockbrokers and insurance agents out there and they're selling products. They're not selling a process. So they're pushing whatever product pays them the most. And it's, you know, whatever has the most commission on the shelf in that given day is what they end up pushing into your account. That's not investing. 
you know, you're just being sold something and you end up with a collection of investments as opposed to a portfolio. That's probably the crux of it there, Bob, is I wouldn't be so concerned about the thinking of, well, let me have money with lots of different advisors. That's diversification. What you should be really concerned about is, do I have a lot of different investments that are different, that are diversified from one another? Because your bigger risk is having too many of the same investments so that when a market goes down and you own all the same thing, it's going to really hurt. And I think the whole idea is you want to have one CFO. A corporation typically has one CFO, chief financial officer. You want to have one CFO for your family who's overseeing all these issues and giving you one holistic view as opposed to, to your point, I've got some products over here, some products over there. Hope I'm diversified. If I'm not, I could be out of luck. Well, at least Miles is working with some financial advisors, right? I see a lot of people who end up as do-it-yourself investors. So they end up working for a company. They get compensated in the stock options of that company. They get Their compensation comes from that company. They buy the company stock in their 401k. They invest in the stock in their personal account. And everything's fine and good until that stock goes from 90 down to two, like Merrill Lynch did or Sperry Unimac did. So a lot yes. of times- you know, you have a fool for a client if you're the person managing your own money. Everybody needs a different set of eyes. You know, you should at least once in your life have a fiduciary, you know, who's obligated by law to look at your portfolio and give you a recommendation as if it's their own money, as if it's their mom or their grandmom's money. That's the thing people should take advantage of. That's what you should be taking advantage of right now. Yeah, and just to talk about that for a second, and that's the same thing. I worked at Merrill Lynch. I was there when the stock collapsed. No one told me ahead of time. We don't have <laughs> gifted insight into what our company's doing. I hear that a lot. Well, I work for the company. I know what they're doing. I know people high up. It doesn't matter. There are so many things outside your control when you own too much of one stock. The other point I just want to make on that too, Bob, is if you're a do-it-yourself investor, you're not giving up control working with an advisor. You now have a partner. You now have a sounding board of someone with a lot of experience. And I use this analogy a lot. It's just like me. I play a lot of guitar, but I still have a guitar teacher because someone who does this, eats, breathes, thinks about it all day, is going to have some shortcuts. They're going to have some ideas and, and ways to do things that are a lot more efficient than you're doing them right now. And if you'd like to avoid making mistakes in your portfolio... What we'd like to offer, if you're one of the next few callers and you've saved at least $200,000 for retirement, Ryan and I will run for you our renowned total financial master plan with no obligation, where there's no cost. We'll give you a full holistic review and we'll give you access to our 360 financial portal. And if you're one of the next two callers, here's exactly what you can expect. We're going to review last year's tax return to see if you're aligned with the new tax law. We're going to look at your legal docs, your estate plan. We want to be certain that your estate plan is not an IOU to the IRS. And lastly, let's put all your investments to statements into one cohesive view. We're going to give you a full portfolio x-ray to make sure that your portfolio is properly diversified. We want you to be protected against the next big decline in the market. We want to check your fees, both those those costs, those hidden costs, and be certain that you're not overcharging yourself. And we want to have more dependable income. Remember, income is more dependable than capital gains. And lastly, we want to introduce you to our 360 financial portal, which will actually chart your progress towards the great goals of life. You'll be able to see where you are every day, any day you care to look. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one wealth projection, which will determine are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? We want to help take your family from your financial point A to your point B to the great goals of life with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So don't waste time. Call us now at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Be one of the next few callers with over $200,000 saved for retirement at 844 plan NYC. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Start the year off right with a full comprehensive holistic plan at 844 plan NYC. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. 
Financial Radio. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to make sure you are 2018 ready to download our newest guide on the new tax reform. We get break down all the highlights, simple two-page document. You can download our tax reform highlights for free at 555-888. You just need to text the word bullish. That's the word bullish to 555 555- 888, get all the highlights, know what you need to know about the tax reform. There's some important things you have to have ready to go in 2018. Simply text the word BULLISH, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888, the word BULLISH, to 555-888. And it is my favorite part of the show. It's time for our spotlight segment. That's where each week we dissect a real financial plan and uncover the flaws, or what we call pain points, that's P-A-Y-N-E for the record, so you can avoid the same mistakes with your own planning and investing. And we have a very, very special guest on the show this morning, Frankie Lagrateria, one of our star financial advisors here at Payne Capital. Frankie, what a way to start off the year with you here in the studio talking about finance. Hello, thanks for having me. Happy New Year, everyone. So Frank, uh, you were working on a case last week why don't you give us the rundown and some of the mistakes or what we would call pain points this specific couple is making with their planning and investing? Absolutely. So I met with a couple and their biggest you know, pain point right now that I'm noticing, and Bob, Brian, I'm sure you're noticing a lot when you see cases and people out there, I'm sure you're noticing yourself that money isn't everything. And it's the only thing, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> and what I mean by that is money isn't everything when it comes to your retirement. Just because you have a lot of money, just because you saved a lot of money, if you don't have a plan in place, it means nothing. It, it, you know, you could have millions of dollars saved, but if you're spending millions of dollars or you're not, you know, doing things tax efficiently, right. you know, things aren't going to work out in your favor. So it's so really you can, you important. Control it, you control it going in, but you also have to control how it comes out, right? Your dollar exactly. cost average in, you got a dollar cost average out. Exactly. So I think it's very important that people kind of sit down and take a look at their their savings and say, hey, do I have a plan with this or is it just a pile of cash? In this specific couple, are they retired now? Are they looking to retire? What kind of planning did they do or lack of planning? So what we have here is a couple who's looking to retire in the next couple years. They did a great job saving. But again, what, what we want to focus here is you know getting them you know a plan. So we have a few different accounts, you know, several different IRAs, uh, a few Roths, things like that, but no, nothing really consolidated, nothing really working cohesively as a plan. Right. For instance, you know, they're almost in their, you know, getting approaching the seventies, and they're over seventy percent in equities, all in like blue chip stocks, which right now is doing great. But uh, if that comes crashing down in another two thousand and eight scenario, you know, that retirement in two or three years is going to be pushed out a little bit further. Unbelievable, almost 70. And that's a good point because we talked about on the show today, you have to be prepared for anything. If the market goes down, their portfolio is going to take a tremendous hit, which they definitely can't afford this close to retirement. Absolutely. And another thing, you know, one of their big concerns was income, 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 because they're getting close to retirement. And that was what their thought was, let's get some blue chip stocks, you know, let's get some cash flow from dividends, but they're actually not yielding that much. And we can increase their cash flow by about $30,000 by using bonds. And that's something that they didn't even think of because they were saying, hey, bonds, you know, we're not getting good interest rates right now. But, you know, there's ways of doing it that you can really supplement that income stream. That's an amazing increase. It is amazing, Chris. I mean, that's that's real money. And the, here's the thing: it's I find crazy is they have an annuity in their portfolio, which is going to basically give them income in retirement. But there's a couple things here. Number one, they give up their principal, and you know, they you see guarantees like I get there, there's a seven percent guarantee. But when you break it down, Frank, it's not really a seven percent guarantee. That's kind of false advertising when you look at actually the way this annuity works. And I think a good rule of thumb is whenever you hear the word guarantee, know that you're paying for it. <laughs> yeah, paying handsomely. Because on the income stream that this couple can take, they give up their principal and it looks like even though they're guaranteeing a 6 or 7%, it really works out to, if you were just to take your own money and live off of it, like a 2% return. 
that's a big difference from a 7% return guarantee when you break down the actual math. All right, so I'm getting a little confused here, Frankie and Rye. If, um, you know, how do you take a guaranteed 7% return and then it actually turns out to only be two? How's that work? Because the 7% is not the return. It's on this, what they call phantom value that they calculate how much you can take out on an annual basis. So it has nothing to do with the real growth of your money. It has everything to do with determining how much they're willing to give you each year, which is not 7%, by the way. And if you look at you taking your own money and paying yourself over time, we figured it was closer to the equivalent of you getting 2%. And that still sounds pretty confusing, I'm sure. So the key here is if you think you're getting one of these high guarantees, have someone run an analysis like Frankie did here where we can actually break out for you so you can see what the real return is, not the phantom return that they're promising. Also, you want to take like, a look uh, at those like fees. A Bernie Madoff uh, situation where you know, he gave returns, but uh, there wasn't actually any investments. Absolutely. It's a, it's a real bamboozle. Uh, another thing you want to do is <laughs> make sure that you uh, you take a look at the fees. You know, every time that you're promised one of these riders, these guarantees for you and your spouse, or guaranteed, you know, a certain time period of, of payout, you're paying for that. And sometimes you're paying handsomely for that. You know, if you're paying over 1% for these riders and you have, you know, two or three riders attached on, that's, that's adding up. I see that a lot advertised uh, here in the Philadelphia area with somebody uh, advertising that there's no cost, there's no fees, but they're running million dollar ad campaigns on television. Somebody's paying for that and I think it might be the investor. <laughs> it is you, make no mistake. And if you're thinking to yourself, I was pitched one of these, I have one of these annuities, our argument is why not have a liquid portfolio instead and increase the income by $20,000 a year as opposed to giving up your liquidity and getting less a year. It's your choice, but if you want this analysis done, Give us a call. We have a couple slots left. Bob, myself, and Frankie, and be one of Frankie's financial friends. We all want to be one of Frankie's financial friends. We have a couple slots left. You have over $200,000 saved for retirement. We will run an analysis like this. We'll take every single asset you own. We're going to build you your own personal 360 portal so we can look at everything holistically and then do a full x-ray of your portfolio. We're going to look at income. We're increasing this couple's income by $20,000 a year. Can we help you increase the income on your portfolio? We're going to look at fees. This annuity was costing over 3% a year. Can we help you reduce the cost on your portfolio? And we're going to look at risk. This couple had 70% of their money in the stock market. If they had a correction, they're out of luck. What risk do you have in your portfolio? We're going to break it out and show you all the risks in the pitfalls in your portfolio. And then finally, we're gonna put it all together in one game plan for you and determine, are you gonna outlive your money or is your money gonna outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we've worked on for over four decades to take you from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. We have a few appointments left, so don't miss out. Give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. Call or text us at 844 752 6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for retirement. Our team will run for you our 360 financial portal with no obligation or any cost. All you have to do is call 844-PLAN-NYC. You can call us or text us at 844-752-6692. Well, another fantastic show. What a great way to start the year. My goal in 2018, Frankie? is to be one of Frankie's financial friends. <laughs> <laughs> He's still waiting. <laughs> what's he is your new, still what's, waiting for the approval. <laughs> <laughs> what didn't happen last year, but 2018, you never know. Uh, any big resolutions for the year? Yes, my big one is do something every week that scares you. Wow, I thought it was going to be something Ooh, nice for Ryan every week, but that, that's not bad either. That's pretty scary, so maybe, maybe <laughs> one really week. For, <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Bob? Ryan's what, a lot what, more what simple, re- Ryan. What is it? I'm just going to stay warm this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. I don't know if that's simple. <laughs> simple man, Bob. Simple man. Well, happy 2018 start of the year. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. 
Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.